Hello, Peter James from Career Life Transitions and today we're going to talk about your personal branding. Now, uh, as a uh, organisation that does a lot of career coaching, a lot of coaching of uh, senior managers, I, I'm quite surprised how many managers uh, cannot tell me what their brand is, what their brand image is out there. And uh, I guess my definition of brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. Now, we can allow our brand to be what, what it is. We, we interact with people, we behave certain ways, we, we attend our sporting clubs and things like that, and, and we just are who we are. And we will have a brand on the basis of that. But in, in this day and age of uh, social media uh, and all the, uh, I guess, opportunities for people to see you, who you are and what have you, if you're in a leadership role or you're in a transition role or if you're in any kind of position where you need to uh, interact with customers, then you need to start looking at your brand. Now, it should start right from the beginning. Even your graduates that are coming through, if they are representing your company in any way, you need to start managing their brand because we start to associate the brand of individuals with the brand of the organisation. I remember one uh, going back a few years ago, I had a, a CEO contact me uh, and they were the subject of a, a possible um, uh, merger with an organisation and uh, he did a quick look on LinkedIn at his senior management team as to what their brands were and it wasn't painting a pretty picture for the business. So we went in and updated all their LinkedIn profiles so that they aligned with it. And I guess that's the issue moving forward. No, no longer do I shake someone's hand, look them in the eye, and then project my brand at that point in time. Your brand is now out there all the time. The other part about it is we are much, much more transitional than we were a number of years ago. I mean, the number of people that are working for the same company for, for 30, 40 years, as my father did, uh, are getting quite rare indeed. So the other part is we do expect the people in an organisation to interact on a much broader level. Once again, when I started in business, it was pretty much the sales team that were interacting with our customers and what have you. But these days, our engineers, our geologists, our physicists and what have you, we do have an expectation that they will stand up in front of customers or will have some interaction with customers. So everything from graduates, to your engineers, to anyone in the business is a reflection of the business that becomes the brand of your business. And for them individually, that is their brand. Now, as I said to you, you do have a brand whether you like it or not. But in this day and age, I think it's important that you start to pay attention to that. And it starts really with, well, what do you stand for? Can you define who you are, what your values are, what your goals in life are? What are the things that you are paying attention to? What's important to you? Taking that time to sit back and do some self-reflection and saying, well, who, who, who am I? What do I bring? What's my value proposition to the world? What am I known for? Talk to your friends, talk to your work associates. You have characteristics that you may not even uh, really have taken the time to appreciate. Very approachable, very engaging, very helpful, very informative. Uh, these are all really nice descriptors that form your brand. On the other part of it, you may uh, find that some of the aspects of your brand are not actually enhancing you moving forward. Certainly, if you have young graduates coming through and you're putting those young graduates out in front of your customers, sending them out of your consulting company or anything like that, you're putting your graduates in front of your customers, that will start to judge your organisation on that basis. If you're getting on uh, Facebook or LinkedIn or anything like that, then they will, your customers and your potential employers will start to look at those things and say, okay, is this the kind of person we want working for our organisation? So I've seen some really, really horrendous uh, pictures on LinkedIn. And let's face it, these days, certainly for our business, that's the first place I go to if I hear a name or I want to link with someone that I've met at a particular meeting or anything like that. I usually will go and have a look at their LinkedIn profile. So it starts with that. And it starts with the things you say. And that picture that paints a thousand words, okay, people will start to make some judgments on you. So your brand is everything you pay attention for yourself. So if you have a look at politicians, politicians have their brand managed very closely, and you may not need to go to that, that extent, really depending on what level you are in the organisation. But 
If you're senior in a business and the second you walk into that office, what you wear, how you wear it, how you look, how you speak, uh, what you pay attention to, what you don't pay attention to, things like that start to uh, form the brand in other people's minds. And if that is a good brand, if you're managing that and uh, developing that in a good way, it will set you up very solidly in your working community. But don't leave it to chance. How you dress, how you comb your hair, all those kind of things start to become part of who you are. And they're the things people say about you when you're not in the room. So paying the attention to those things is a great career move for you, it's a great business move for you, it's great for engaging your staff because they're looking at you on social media as well. Uh, there's a lot of issues with young people who are putting pictures on social media, Facebook and things like that at the moment, which are just not supporting what a business would want with their brand. Uh, I've heard some very, very high statistics uh, about employment companies or employers looking at Facebook uh, and rejecting a candidate based on what they see on social media. So it's very, very important that you can have fun with your friends or things like that, but you need to be very conscious of what you're projecting out there about who you are and what you value and what you pay attention to. Because these are the, the building blocks of your career, they're the building blocks of your company, they're the building blocks of your success. So talk to us at Career Life Transitions if you'd like a branding makeover. Do you really understand what people say about you when you're not in the room? I'm Peter James. Thanks for your time.